Hi guys, so here's the tutorial on making clean eating, or in this case, clean eating or paleo beef stew in the crock pot. So here's our step by step. I have all of our, my ingredients out here, so get all of your ingredients out and first things first, get your freezer bag out and write on the freezer bag. I wrote beef stew and the date. And then write the instructions on the bag. So that way, in case you don't eat this for a few months, then you will know exactly what to do. So I wrote, cook on high. Oh, it's probably really hard to see. But cook on high for six hours or low for eight to nine hours. And then after that, there's a little section down here. I said, whisk a fourth cup of tapioca starch with two tablespoons water. Add it to thicken and then cook for 30 more minutes. I wrote all that, so it's kind of long, but... You do not put the tapioca starch in with the with the whole rest of the meal in the freezer bag because that's just there to thicken the stew after it's been cooking for a really long time. And you can use, I guess we'll talk about that later, but you can use cornstarch or technically even flour, but you, flour is really, usually white flour is really re refined and had all sorts of stuff that doesn't really make it clean eating and so I prefer tapioca and it also tapioca really has a nice texture to it but you really can use cornstarch or something else. Anyway, we don't put that in the bag. So first things first, you open your meat. You only need, so I guess you actually heat your oil first. You use two tablespoons of olive oil or you can use a can of olive oil and make sure you check the ingredients on the back that it's just olive oil. I mean, you probably are okay if there's like one other ingredient. Sometimes they have other ingredients in there, a couple, maybe one or two, to like keep it from foaming. But try to get ones that are just olive oil. Just, I just use a little bit less oil when I use this and it's pretty efficient. But otherwise, just use two tablespoons of olive oil. Yeah, that's what you want to do first, is you just want to brown all of the stew meat. And you don't have to buy it pre-cut, but it is just so much easier and saves you so much time to just buy your meat pre-cut. That's just what I prefer. I grew up with, my dad is a avid hunter, so we would cut our own meat. So, I mean, that's great too if you do that. Well, it's browning i'm going to prep the sweet potatoes i decided to use sweet potatoes instead of parsnips just because i already had sweet potatoes on hand parsnips are fine as well if you prefer that taste so you're going to want to peel it okay just gonna let it be there for a little bit. Finish doing my potatoes. So this one's done. After I'm done peeling, I usually clean up as I go. I'll try not to do that too much because I want to be faster with it being a tutorial. But it makes sense for me to just clean up as I go. So here's my extra large sweet potato, and here's my almost large potato. I figured they'll balance out to two large sweet potatoes. <clears throat> I should have peeled this one. Okay, so the meat's browned. Help you can see that. It's brown. There's gonna be I did get a lean cut, but there's still a little bit of uh, fat, and I'm gonna drain that into a glass cup and then scrape it off and throw it away later. So that's done. So I have my potatoes. Cut. And I'm actually going to just peel all of my carrots now so I can just cut all at once and peel all at once. Okay. 
Okay, so I have cleaned up all the peels and I have washed everything and I've started to cut the sweet potato and you just I'm just gonna cut it into big chunks. So I've already sliced it lengthwise a few times and I'm just gonna make you can make them as big as you want, I guess. Mine will probably be about this big. Something like that. They don't have to be perfect. They don't even have to be bite sized. They can be bigger, smaller. You don't want them too small though that they cook way faster than everything else. So I actually did split the fat end of the carrot a little bit again, but I am cutting the pieces a lot bigger than I did with the So I'm actually going to cut my onion now, just since everything else is already chopped. Just cutting off the ends. And peeling it. Just cut it into big chunks. So that's actually all of the vegetables. I'm going to put the vegetables in first so that when I dump it into the crock pot, usually the meat will be on the bottom, but it's okay if they get all mixed up. It's really not that big of a deal. We're going to use, you're supposed to use um, fresh ground, I mean, sorry, you're supposed to use fresh thyme. I forgot to get it at the store, so I'm going to use ground thyme. And I will have to use a little bit less of this ground, too, and it's a fresh. It's a little more compact. Okay, so we're first, I'm going to put two bay leaves in. This is what I have my bay leaves in. And make sure you remove those before you eat, before you serve it. Um, then you can use two peppercorns. So I just have mine in my shaker. You only need uh, half the deep, so not very much of this. Let's see how much. These are whole peppercorns. Oops, I dropped a few. Okay. All right. Just going to pour it directly onto there. And then for the salt, I need two teaspoons. And then, of course, at the end, you always test the seasonings and see how it tastes. Add more or less of something next time or whatever you think. And then it is one tablespoon of fresh thyme, but I'm actually going to add less than that because I have ground thyme and not fresh. So I didn't fill the whole thing up. It will be fun. My husband's not a huge fan of the taste of thyme. I just think it tastes good. And stuff. Okay, so is that everything? Yep, that's everything and except the meat and the broth. So you can use granules or the beef cubes. I actually usually use that, but this random time I have my beef broth in liquid form. And we're not gonna put all of the liquid in here, but we'll need four cups. So just put in some liquid. Maybe I can actually put it all in there. Just depends on how heavy duty your bag is. I'm going to add the meat, you know. That will be it.
Normally I would suggest laying it flat to freeze, but my bag is so stuffed it's not really going to lay that flat. So this is it though. This is your whole crock pot meal just ready to be put into the crock pot. And you will add the rest of your beef broth then. I used about three cups, so I would just add the rest of it then. Or if you can fit it, all four cups in your bag, put it in there. Then, of course, the instructions are on it to add cornstarch, or not cornstarch, or if you want, tapioca starch to thicken it up at the end. And remove the bay leaves before you eat it, and enjoy So thanks for watching this tutorial, guys. Bye.